hold her hand. Get up. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with my September wrap up. It's going to be very short because I only read one book, but you know, I guess it's fine. School has me crying, but whatever. So without further ado, let us get started. So the one and only book that I read this month is called That Risen Snow, and it is by Rob E. Bowley. I don't have a physical copy because I read it on my phone, so I'll insert a picture now. Ooh. This book is a retelling of Snow White, which I love fairy tale retelling, so I was super excited to read it. The Seven Dwarves are told that True Love's Kiss will break the spell that Snow White is put under when she bites the old egg's apple. But unfortunately for the Seven Dwarves, when Snow is kissed, she does not awaken the snow that they all know and love. She awakens as a very hungry, very angry zombie. As soon as Prince Mikhail kisses Snow, she awakens and bites him, and this spreads the disease that the dwarves are all calling the horror. As the plague spreads, the horrors start chasing the remaining dwarves and the prince's soldiers. Although I found this story very, very entertaining, and it kept me on the edge of my seat throughout the whole thing, I only gave it 2 out of 5 stars because it just started getting really repetitive, and it was like I was reading the exact same thing over and over again. And the overall writing wasn't the best, it was kind of like middle grade-ish in my opinion, but like not middle grade-ish because it had made up swear words and stuff, but it wasn't like the best writing I've ever seen, it was kind of mediocre. But overall the book was really enjoyable. I think that the ending came very abruptly and it was like it was just thrown in there for the sake of being thrown in there because the writer was like, okay I'm bored now, I'm done. So that kind of sucked because it was like, it was a good book, but then it was just like, I'm over it. I don't want to write anymore, so I'm not going to. So here's an ending. Blech. I did really like Grouchy as a main character. He was super sarcastic and witty, which made me laugh a lot. And I really did like the changing of points of views. I thought that was really interesting. So as I said, I only gave the book 2 out of 5 stars, only because it became so repetitive. It was really entertaining. I would suggest reading it if you're into fairy tale retellings, but also like horror-y stuff. It was really interesting spin on it. So that was, I guess, my review of this book and also my September wrap-up. I probably won't put up an October TBR because realistically I'm not going to read anything, so YOLO, whatever, maybe on Thanksgiving, but we'll see if I even put up an October wrap-up. We'll see. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs> Um, and manifest, and there's like a million of them now. The horror, ugh.